So when it comes to changing these bins, obviously, as you guys just seen on the time lapse, I open up a bin that is what I would call dirty. Sometimes I go for the babies first, and then I just put them in the fresh bin there. Now, sometimes, depending on who your breeder is and who you get your rodents from, your ASFs can be very, very feisty, but thankfully, I don't have those issues. My ASFs, I have produced every last one that is here, um, starting with my very first originals I had uh, purchased off of somebody. I actually got rid of those, fed those off, so I no longer have to worry about them. All these are what I have produced, whether it be off of them or generations from them. I have to do this full rack. Um, I've talked about the rack systems before with the PVC pipes and the five gallon bucket. Sorry guys, you're on the GoPro chest mount. Um, so yeah, um, I've talked about these and what they are and try to show you one of these nipples. Well, it's gonna be kind of difficult. Get up in, in there maybe. All right, probably not. I apologize guys, I did try, but very simple setup, um, very easy to make as long as you have the right stuff. But boy, let me tell you what, this setup is a freaking dream. Now, obviously, as you guys seen in the time lapse, what I do with these is I take them and I dump them out. Now, once a month, what I do is I actually get this done just like this same process but I'll actually take these out and hose them down and let them dry out um, before getting to this and putting this in now a lot of people say you can't use this a lot of people say it's not good for your rodents um, I'm gonna tell you right now that's bogus I've been using pine ever since I've been breeding rodents and I've had zero issues whatsoever um, maybe if you use non kennelin dried uh, pine maybe that would affect it. I don't really know. I know that this stuff that I use is great uh, And like I said once a month what I do is I take these and I actually rotate them With those bins down there That way These can sit out and dry do their thing whatever and then once they're dried they get stacked up over there As You guys can see I got this rack here and the holding rack there no longer in use i actually have those up for sale um this changed just on here just because uh but yeah at one point i had all these filled and i just decided to mainly do the asfs as you can see right there um, mainly just focus on those and right now i have every bin filled up with asfs other than um, the bottom bottom row here is all rats. Um, there is one set of rats right there on uh, bin 20. And then I also do have one bin right here with mice. Now these mice are actually real pretty. Most of them are blue, but I got this gorgeous little white blue brindle real pretty. I'm not sure if you guys can see that brindling. It's very, very hard to see it and she's not really wanting to work with me. Um, also have some babies in here. Guys, I do apologize for the view on the camera. 
just want to show you that little thing there just born yesterday cute little guy but uh, I also have a bunch of rats for instance these guys here we have some Rex um, albinos we have some of my blue lines here um, got quite a few of the blues then these rats as well are blues some of my lines and some of them are just regular uh, cape blues most of these guys are rexes so I can make um, pair them together and make double rex blues or patchwork blues blue patchworks whatever you want to call them but yeah guys so uh, that's that's what's on the agenda for today Whew. make sure you guys give this video a like comment down below let me know how your guys' day was let me know if you guys liked the video let me know what kind of content you want to see next hit that i card up there i believe it might be over there but either side one of those two sides up top is going to have the video from my last channel that i just posted today make sure you guys go check that out it was with the american bullies <sighs> yeah take care y'all